Thank you for joining me in my channel. My name is Primrose and uh, in this channel we talk about trending stories uh, all over the world. Most importantly in Africa and Southern Africa, we talk about crime stories, politics. We also touch on TV stories. And Please, if you are new here for the first time, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Uh, if you are watching from Facebook, please also join my YouTube team. Watch Tony Forbes, the father of AKA, who is who was also the boyfriend of Nadia Nakai, surprised Nadia on her birthday. Nadia Nakai, the rapper, not only had laid AKA, a Kenyan Forbes' heart, but also uh, his parents' heart and the daughter's also. Uh, Tony Forbes recently surprised her with a birthday cake at the studio. Taken to her Instagram timeline, time rather, she shared the clip of her boyfriend as dad walking towards her and others singing for her. She said, Thank you so much, Fake True Africa. It was so special being surprised by Tony Forbes as well. Thank you, she wrote. Tony and AKE's mother, Lynn, have been showing Nadia she's not alone by showering her with constant love and act of kindness. Lynn also took to her Instagram page and wished uh, Nadia well on her birthday. She said, you are one of the most beautiful women I know and your light radiates from within. Thank you for being you. You are a blessing and it is an honor to know you. Keep on shining your light into the world. I wish you endless blessings, love and joy. You deserve only the best and it will come to you in ways you cannot begin to imagine. We love you, she wrote. Tony Forbes had also previously written an appreciation post to Nadia, speaking of how he always could tell she was perfect for his son. Nadia, from the first day I met you, I knew you were right for my boy. See that smile on his dial. Thank you for loving him. He truly loved you. We love you. Tony wrote. Taken to her socials when she went back to work, the rapper said, the love and support she had received from close friends and her fans had assured her she would be okay. Thank you everyone who supported me as I went back to work. I'm grateful for what people did uh, for me and made sure that I'm okay. Sometimes I feel I'm, un I'm undeserving of the support, the messages, the hugs and love from my family, friends, fans as well as the venues I work the, this weekend it really gave me hope that i'll be okay there are so many genuinely good people out there and i'll never take it for granted thank you guys yo guys nadia will always break my heart every time i see her i just think of the day we had that kenyan is normal guys she totally deserves to be loved. She totally deserves to be showered, guys, with so much appreciation because this woman truly loved her, a.k.a. And I want to believe a.k.a. truly loved her as well because sometimes, guys, true love, you when where there is true love, you cannot uh, actually de deny it. It just stays there. It shows itself. It shines. Even though there are so many people out there who sometimes wants to just switch things and turn them around and dampen the mood because recently there was a post uh, on my Pepandaba about one lady who was actually questioning why Tony Forbes had to buy a Nadia Nakai a, a neck piece, guys. She was saying she's thinking so many things that most maybe a um, Tony Forbes wants to step into the sun's shoes. And I was like, what? Guys, people can be so crazy. People can be so crazy out there. You wonder why should someone think that? Because guys, we know this family. We've seen how this family, how amazing and loving. Like shown their love towards a, a starting from DJ Zinche. They showed their uh, utmost love to the girlfriend of a, AKA's brother. Even my dear guys, I don't know why people have to think this. Because every time they look at Nadia, they just think of their son, most probably. That's why they're showering her with so much love. They they know that that's what AKA would have done. But then you know what our thoughts are regarding this one. Do you think Tony Forbes could be indirectly trying to somehow show nadia that uh, his love is more than what we see 
or maybe more than what we expect it to be. But I'm like, yo guys, I, I, I don't understand people. And usually this kind of people guys who have such uh, crazy thoughts, I wonder if they've ever really been loved. If maybe they've ever, you know, they come from loving families. Because only if you are not okay in your head, that's when I feel like you can have such sick ideas. I really wonder how this person had to actually come up with something like this. Can people just laugh? But anyway, guys, let me know what our thoughts are. Hey, let me know in the comment section. I'll see you on the next video, guys. And please remember to give this video a like, to give it a share, and consider subscribing just in case you are not, guys. I'll see you on the next one. And my love is real all the time. Have yourself a God-filled Sunday. I'll see you on the next one.